Okay, today I'm just going to talk about something, try to answer a question I see all the time. I'm in some groups on Facebook for Android users, and one of the comments or questions that comes up quite often is, how do I root my device without a computer? And the answer is, you don't at least not for most devices. See, to root your device, you need to first unlock the bootloader, and then once the bootloader is unlocked, you can do whatever you want. You can install Magisk, you can install a custom ROM or a GSI ROM that allows you to have root. There's a few different ways, but once you unlock the bootloader, you can do anything to that system that you want, pretty much. How do you unlock the bootloader? It's different for each device. In some devices, it's super simple. Motorola makes it super simple. The Google phones make it super simple. But then there's companies that don't let you unlock the bootloader, like Samsung. Now, Samsung doesn't let you do it, but there has been leaks of their software, and there are ways to do it, but they're not officially allowing you to unlock it. And then some devices, and usually it's the cheaper devices, don't let you unlock the bootloader whatsoever. And if you can't unlock the bootloader, then you can't root the device in most cases. What do I mean by that? There are some cases where you can root it without an external device. If you can do this, that means there's a flaw in your system. Either there's a software flaw or a hardware flaw that's, that you're taking advantage of to gain root access. And it means that your system is vulnerable and that's not a good thing, but it has happened. So in certain cases, you may be able to do that. In some cases though, if there's a vulnerability, especially if it's a software vulnerability, then next time you update your system, you're not gonna be able to do that anymore, which is a good thing because your system is vulnerable. Sometimes though, it's a hardware thing and updates cannot patch it. And then sometimes there's hardware hacks where you actually pull apart the device and you jump some pins and that's a whole nother thing. So in those cases, again, it's a hardware issue and you don't need an external device, but you do need to take apart the device and, and do things that, if you're asking the question, how do I root my Android device without a computer, then you're probably not someone who's ready to jump in and tear apart your device to, to root it. So if you want a device that you can root, make sure that the manufacturer allows you to unlock the bootloader. Because again, once you unlock the bootloader, you pretty much have free them to do whatever you want with that system. You can modify it in whatever ways you want, whether it's root it or just install or remove whatever applications you want, custom ROMs, GSI ROMs, compile your own kernels, all that good stuff. But you need to unlock the bootloader and you're going to do that with an external computer. But again, if you're asking how to root your device without a computer, the answer is most of the time you're not going to be able to and that's by design. If you're looking to root your device or unlock the bootloader, I do have videos on that. Search on my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There'll be a link in the description. But again, it's going to be different for different devices. Thanks for watching. Filmsbychris.com. There's Chris, there's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description as always. I hope that you have a great day.